Sometimes you need a small tool to do repetitive and tedious tasks. So today, I'll be showing you guys several Blender geometry node generators and annals that I'm positive many of you will find useful and helpful. This includes generators for particles, visual effects, stylized assets, and much more. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. First up, we're gonna start with the Alien Plants, which is a geometry node generator for creating a natural looking alien plants all inside Blender. Using this tool, I think, will allow you to sketch curves and mold your plants to perfection using curves in the edit mode. You can dive into the customization bar to fine tune parameters such as branch length, rotation, leaf scale, flowers, and so much more. I also have to tell you that you can easily get different variations of your plants by simply adjusting the seed value, which can give you different options to choose from. Next we have Pro Particles, which is a toolset designed to enhance particle simulations using the geometry nodes, of course. And from what I can see, this enables the creation of high quality and complex systems to a certain extent. Using this, I think, will give you the ability to create nice looking particle effects that are simply not possible with regular particle systems. It also offers an array of nodes for customizing particle simulations. And here are some of the nodes available, which are emitter, life, radius, randomized velocity, sim core, attractor, gravity, drag, reflect, follow the curve, trace lines, in addition to others. If you want to be more artistic, you can take a look at Artistic Outliner, which is a geometry node setup that makes it possible to create artistic outlines on any 3D object, which I think can give you a drawing-like render. Of course, this tool uses fully procedural materials to grant you control over the final look, which offers various settings for line thickness, edge angle dependent lines, and rounded edges. From the first look, I think you can guess that this tool can help you and save you time with different projects, depending on what you specialize in. But what about the grease pencil tool you may ask? Why can't you use it to do the same thing? Well, unlike Blender's grease pencil, this setup allows you to generate procedural textures for the lines, which I really appreciate. Also, it excels at eliminated real analog drawing, which provides maximum control over line appearances. This, in addition to projecting outlines on the camera rather than directly on geometry, which ensures a clean scene and an easy workflow, making it comfortable to work with at all times. Now, if you want to wrap things in Blender, you probably want to take a look at WrapGen. It offers a good level of control over wrap creation, allowing you to define custom geometry and area objects along wraps or wrap single objects along curves. In addition, its internal system adapts to contours of shapes being wrapped, which can ensure realistic results over concave and even convex areas. And you can do this with a simple four-step process, which allows you to create something like this easily and in a short period of time. Next up, we have SDF Nodebox, which is a Blender node pack that facilitates the creation of 2D and 3D parametric shapes, effects, patterns, masks, and more using signed distance fields. So it contains 45 shader node groups specifically made for SDF manipulation in Blender's shader graph. The pack includes nodes for defining primitive shapes, performing operations on them, and previewing results in 2D and 3D. Last but not least, it offers 5 ready-made examples accessible from Blender's scene menu dropdown. The next one on this list is called Mesh to Wooden Planks, which lets you transform your surfaces into cool-looking wooden planks. This one offers a couple of key features, including versatile plank generation to easily apply planks to any surface, in addition to adapting to mesh contours, whether it be a simple floor or a complex curve. This, in addition to intuitive control for accurate adjustment, directional flexibility, and some customization that I think is gonna help you get something specific. What I think is so cool about this generator is that you can create numerous planks along mesh faces or segment them, adjust gaps and thickness offsets, and plank and offsets, and even add in roundness for realism. Now, if you wanna create steam effects, 
you can take a look at the Universal Steam VFX Simulator, which of course uses simulation nodes. And I think this is gonna give you a solution for adding a cool steam effect that you can use on any object that emits steam. And it comes with plenty of settings to customize the effect by changing the design, wind force, adding custom forces, and even particle settings. Also, the collision with objects is supported, which I think can add another layer of realism to your simulations, because to be honest, this is gonna be necessary. Now, we're gonna take a look at Building Under Construction, which is a procedural customizable construction site that can be useful for different purposes. Personally, I have never seen something like this in Blender, so I think it's gonna be great for architects and archivist artists. Basically, it lets you easily adjust parameters within the modifiers tab to determine the height, length, and width of the building, as well as other available settings to personalize your construction site further. And if you're ready for more, you can convert geometry nodes based buildings to a mesh that you can use on your own projects. Now, let's shift our focus to sculpting with the Sculpt Bridge tool. This is a free tool for sculpting intricate mesh formations like slime or tendons on characters. You can start by setting the assets library directory, then you can easily access the tool from the quick favorites tab. You can also simply draw face sets and use the bridge tool to connect them with full control over settings like squeeze, gravity, and smoothness. You can even use symmetry settings for efficient sculpting, which is needed for a lot of cases. Still with the modeling side of things, the next one is gonna be Curve Gen, which is a blender tool for curve modeling that allows you to easily manipulate single or multiple curves. In addition to toggling between instancing and deformation, and customizing array spacing and alignment. Moreover, it provides advanced features like aligning curve normals with target meshes, in addition to precise shrimp prep capabilities and customizable scale, rotation, and twist, which is gonna give you a lot of control. In addition, you could easily incorporate center tubes for beads or necklaces, along with various other functionalities. Now, if you want your jungles to look great in a short period of time, you probably want to take a look at Jungle Vines. This one is split into two versatile nodes, and this tool in general allows you to create both crawling and hanging vines. For crawling vines, you can grow intricate patterns directly onto any mesh surface, with precise control over origins, collection integration, and customizable parameters, which I think can give you a lot of control over how you're gonna spread these vines on your objects, whether it be environment assets, buildings, or architectural elements. But you can do that also with natural elements, such as rocks, trees, or whatever. Meanwhile, you can adjust parameters to create vertical or arced hanging vines, with leaf options for consistency. And this is gonna be enhanced with presets for quick setup which is gonna be perfect for adding realism to your 3D projects that need some jungly look, let's say. From creating vines to something completely different with simulations, and specifically melting simulations with GeoMelter, which seems like a nice tool for dynamic object melting simulations in Blender. With GeoMelter, you can get objects to melt in real time. Just pick different materials and watch them blend and they will blend nicely and organically, which is something you cannot achieve without using the power of geometry nodes. Generally speaking, this will give you control over how you can make melting effects without a lot of experience with fluid dynamics and how you can make advanced simulations. Still with simulations and the effects side of things, next we have blend effects, which is a handy toolkit for adding cool looking visual effects in Blender. I think using this generator can easily equip your scenes with real-time effects by accessing a variety of pre-made effects, from explosive blasts to mystical spells. These effects are fully customizable, which I think can give you control over adjusting colors, sizes, and behaviors with intuitive controls. I think this will save you a lot of time if you are especially a game developer or if you want something ready, quick, and can get you some results on the fly. So guys, if you are interested in one of these add-ons, 
you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.